Okay, this is a general demonstration of the process students can use to insert images into content they are posting in Blackboard, such as in a discussion board or in an assignment. So the first thing that you'll want to do is have a tool that can snip images or save screenshots. So that could be your Windows snipping tool, your Mac snipping tool, or the screenshot uh, function on a Chromebook. But I'm on a Windows computer right now, so I'll demonstrate the Windows process. So first things first, um, I am going to navigate to the content that I want to take a picture of. And then I'm going to go look for my snipping tool on the computer. I'm going to search for it and select it and it's going to open up and it's a very simple lightweight little program. So if I want to take a snip picture of the content that is on my screen, I'll just click on that new snip icon and my screen will gray out temporarily and I will have my cursor change into a little crosshair icon and then I can just click and drag that little crosshair to select what it is I want to snip. And that loads into the snip editor. Now what I'm going to do is just going to go to File, Save As, and save this capture on my computer in a location that I'll be able to find it. So I'm going to put this in my Pictures folder, and I'll call this Example Slide. And I will save it as a JPEG image, and click Save. So now that I have that image, I can import that into content in Blackboard. So here's an example course in Blackboard where I have a discussion board and I'm going to access this forum and I'll create a new thread that has this image in it. So here is the uh, message form for the forum. So I'll call this example slide and in the message box if you don't see the second row of tools make sure you click the more icon to see that second row and you'll click on the the add button, the add content button. It's a circle with a little plus go ahead and click on that and what you'll do is click insert local files and then you'll just select the picture that you want to insert so here's my example slide I'll click open and Blackboard is going to embed that image into the content I can add some more text here like so and then I can click submit and that will post to the discussion board so here is that forum. I'll click on it and this is what everyone can see. Okay, so that is the example of how to embed the image in a discussion board. I could also do this in an assignment if I were to go to an area of the course where I have an assignment to post. And let's say I want to submit this, that slide to this color theory assignment. Um, there's two ways I can go about this but the best way is to use the browse local files function but I'll use both so you see the, the difference so I'll click on write submission and I see the content editor and I'll just follow those same steps I demonstrated earlier clicking the plus button going to insert local files selecting my image and clicking open like so okay but I'll also go to attach files and I will just follow the, the process of finding the file and selecting it through the browse files function like so like just like a word document or anything else I'd submit okay so you'll see I've got two options here I, I did the right submission the text submission and I did the file attachment I'm going to click submit and then I'll show you what the difference looks like here okay so I see the confirmation this assignment has submitted so the submission text you'll see the image that I had embedded in the text editor shrunk down a little bit. But if I use the attach file method, the image is going to load in the uh, BB annotate um, file previewer at a larger scale. And I can even use these tools here to zoom in and out more. So I think that's the better option to just use the file attachment method if you're going to be submitting images to an assignment. And that will also allow the instructor to annotate on top of the image to give you feedback. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so that's all there is to this.